The long-term outcome for children with CDH depends a lot on the severity of their initial defect and whether the child has any other associated anomalies. So in one group of patients, the hole in diaphragm is actually pretty small and the lung development is more normal and those children tend to do very well. We typically can repair the hole without having to use a patch material and they get out of the hospital soon and basically have normal childhoods. On the other end of the spectrum are a group of children that have a very severe defect in the diaphragm and also have other major anomalies in major organ systems such as the brain, the heart, or the kidneys, and these patients tend to do very poorly. Uh, they tend to have a very low survival overall, and those who do survive can expect to require numerous hospitalizations and doctor visits throughout their childhood. In the middle of these two groups is a group of patients that have a moderate to severe defect, but um, relatively few anomalies in other organ systems, and 10 to 15 years ago, many of these patients would not have survived. But nowadays, with the kind of medical care and surgical care that we can provide, they do survive, but may have other medical problems as time goes on. And those include things like feeding and nutrition and growth issues, delay in neurodevelopmental skills and cognition, sensory neural hearing loss, and chronic lung disease. These patients we focus on very closely in our long-term follow-up clinic so that we can address any of these medical issues head-on and improve their outcomes to the best that it can be.